and welcome to a Smurf P video and today I've got a uh, Marvel Legendary Collection issue 11 which is Young Avengers Psychics. Now um, I buy mine from Hatch Hatchet Paperworks and uh, very disappointingly I have some damage here and I have some damage here. Now if you were collecting these hardbacks uh, as a collection and to be honest with you when I get these now I literally sell them on. I do a review, I sell them on. And I think at some point I'm just going to bail out because to be honest with you, they're expensive and there are lots of other things that I really want um, that I value more. So at some point I will drop this off. But until then, I will continue to buy these. So we got Young Avengers. Now the good thing about this is actually there's a Marvel Omnibus coming out soon which has... Young Avengers and takes you all the way up to the Children's Crusade, which is how that sort of first run ended, which is great. Um, and this is issue 41. So once again, this is just to give you a, an example of some characters you may not have read before. And then you may say, hey, I want to read some more of them. Where can I read more of them? That's how I've always seen this line. And this collects uh, Young Avengers uh, issue 1 to 6, which is the first arc. So we will open it up. We have the usual little background there, which is pretty cool. Psychic's there. And writer is Alan Heimberg. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is probably the only work that I've ever read off the man's. Um, I don't think I've read anything else. Oh, this is Jim uh, Chu Chow, Chow. I'm really sorry. I hate it when I say names wrong. Because I feel like names are really important. And then you got lots of people doing the inks. Colors is done by Justin. That is by VCs Corey Petit. And uh, there's got cover art, etc. And all the other team members. So you got some political stuff there. And then this side, you got uh, N. Hammond's introduction. He is the Marvel editor for Pan Panini UK. And he just gives a little spill here, which is great. So what is this story around so at this point in time the the new avengers were just about to come into play this literally the same time as this and the new avengers were gone so it's like well who the hell are these young avengers etc and they just rock up and they all have powers etc as they do similar powers to the sort of the original Avengers. So you have Wiccan and Hulkling, Patriot and Iron Lad, and then later Kate Bishop joins. I, I feel like she joins during this. And you also have uh, Cassie Lang, who also becomes a um, giant girl, etc. And the thing with Iron Lad is he is Kang the Conqueror and he's seen how his future develops and he doesn't want it to happen. And it's great. And then we get the return of Vision as well. So the Vision returns through this and he becomes a young Avenger for a, a long period of time. And then eventually he goes back to being old Vision and these guys carry on in various different books. So there have been... Um, I think they go into there's some other Young Avengers books there. I think they join up with the Runaways at some point. And yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the first arc because I was really, probably really into the Avengers. I think it was around 2007. And you got to remember in the UK, in terms of comics, other than those that had access to a comic book shop, remember the internet was still sort of young then that was when it sort of came really alive etc and online shops were starting up etc it was probably difficult for somebody like me to go and get them without traveling um, now I will say this myself I did work in London so I probably could have brought individual issues if I wanted to and I, I did have a spell where I was buying um, everything to do with X-Men just after literally as the event messiah complex happened I was buying everything there. But that was about the X-Men. So I used to read these in the Panini um, UK releases. And I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed the New Avengers. 
and it was in my mind it, it's it's a fabulous run and there are crossovers there's crossovers with uh, civil war there are crossovers with secret invasion so I would suggest if you do buy the omnibus I do recommend you buy the omnibus I've got it on pre-order mainly because the children crusade is a real X story in my mind um, I would suggest you find some way to be able to read Civil War when that bit happens and read Secret Invasion when that happens. I don't think World War Hulk affects these guys, but I could be wrong. And then, like I said, it ends with um, with blah, 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 Children's Crusade. So at some point, you'll see a review from me as well. So you have this little bit here, etc. So it talks about teen heroes, I guess, of the past. Just having a little look at it. Um, and what these are about, the modern twists, the the homage to some of the uh, the Avengers that have been killed. So Scott Lang was killed at this point, and Cassie was obviously used to spend a lot of time at Avengers and had access to those pin particles. So they have lots of comic connections. So you got moments around Kang, Ramatoot. I've read that. Uh, you got obviously Ant Man. I guess to do with Cassie four. Just to say, right, what do these Avengers feed off? And then ultimately, this feeds off this here, these endings here, and just before New Avengers. So there is, by looks of it, going to be another book called Family Matters, and they've got the Children Crusade coming out at some point as well. That you could grab and probably read by its own. You probably need to understand some of the stuff that's happened with the Scarlet Witch and the X-Men, but it's a great book. Now, I'm not sure. I could be completely wrong. Because um, I, I think there was only probably around 16 issues. I could be talking rubbish. I'm not sure. I mean, why would you collect it all if you, you're only showing ship it, snippets of other books? I find that a bit bizarre. So, anyway, it will be what it will be. So, anyway, I hope you like my video. Oh. Did I show you? Yeah, I showed you this. Um, I hope you like my video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Make sure you look after yourself. Very important these days. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.